Yo, what is going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another gameplay video. It's been a minute and I am gonna make some more gaming videos. We have the Mortal Kombat 1 beta coming out next week. Can't wait for that. But nonetheless, I wanna talk about the PS5 Slim. The PS5 Slim is getting very close. It's rumored that it could be releasing next month, as soon as next month, but this year we will see a brand new PS5 model. And now, this PlayStation Slim model is a bit weird because if you look at the pictures, it looks exactly the same as a PS5, but the catch is you could detach the CD drive or the Blu-ray drive, I should say. And it's funny, it seemed like Sony watched my video because when the PS5 first released, I test out a PS5 digital edition, plugging in an external Blu-ray drive, and unfortunately, spoiler alert, that did not work, and I tested it out twice after updates and everything. So with this quote-unquote slim model, you could detach the Blu-ray drive if you purchase the game digitally, you wanna keep the symmetry look, the sleekness, that's cool. But then when it's time to watch a Blu-ray movie, or maybe you borrow a PS5 game, or you picked up a game on sale, you can attach that Blu-ray drive. So I liked having the option, and that's one of the cons of having a digital edition PS5 console. You don't have the option to go back to CDs whenever you want to. And um, and some would say, oh, just picked up the regular PS5 model. I got my PS5 when it was tough to get it, and actually I picked up both models, the disc one and the digital edition one, and I unboxed it here on this channel. Now there's a leak promo picture and a video a hands-on video and you can see there's two noticeable differences you can see there is a slight curvature by the middle piece which looks nice but nothing to go home and go crazy about but then noticeably you have the two slits on the side plates so rp to buy in uh those playstation plates or third-party plates you can't really get that because it might not fit or, or maybe if you just get a digital edition, maybe it will fit. I'm definitely gonna be getting this console to test out certain things, but the two slits is gonna allow you to actually detach the Blu-ray drive. I'm not sure about the other side. Maybe you can have fun and have like a two-tone design. I could see people getting really creative with this, but also too, I noticed there's two USB-Cs and no USB-A. So I'm sure there's gonna be USB-A on the back of the console and also too, Sony is going for a matte middle piece, a matte finish on the middle, and a glossy plate by the detachable plates part. But other than that, it's nothing slim about this console at all. It's no sort of thinness to it, or it's like not like a huge redesign to go crazy. It's definitely for the people who still have yet to pick up a PS5 yet. And very recently, we saw a price reduction, $50 off of the PS5. So instead of $500, it's $450. And the PS5 received so many updates, like not even updates, but little changes on the inside. So trunk the heat sink, hold back on certain components because it was tough to get a PS5. So manufacturing, uh, the manufacturing process has been improved on the PS5 nonetheless compared to 2020. So it's good to see that you can go online on Best Buy or the PlayStation Direct website and pick up a PS5 with no problem. Now I'm very curious if Sony is going to kill off the regular PS5, the one with the integrated disk drive, or are they going to kill off the digital edition, or they're just going to kill off both consoles in, in favor of this new PS5 model. Now, I see Sony just probably killing off both models because you have the best of both worlds. You could detach the Blu-ray drive whenever you need it or attach it when you do need it. So I see them killing off both models. So if you have a digital edition PS5, hold on to it because I think it's going to be very valuable. And, um, and having this new model, I don't know how it's going to be with the plates because Sony put so much time with the plates and everything like that. So I'm not sure how the compatibility is going to be with that. But only time would tell what Sony is going to do. But for sure, I think they're going to discontinue the digital edition. I think so. And have um and have this PS5 Slim, quote unquote, at $399, $100 cheaper. But is, it, is the Blu-ray drive going to be sold separately? Can you buy that separately? Is it going to be included in the box? Only time will tell, man. It's it's like a deja vu again because literally I've made this same exact video when the PS5 came, first came out and I spent $100 on that external Blu-ray drive and it just didn't work. So I'm going to test that out again on the slim model or maybe 
with this new update that's coming out next month which is the update that's going to allow you to disable in the beeping power on noise like it sounds like a microwave which is crazy how you could disable that now and also sony is expanding the nvme ssd m2 drives to eight terabytes max before it was only four terabytes ssds is just getting cheaper and cheaper as time goes on so that's going to be a nifty little update but nonetheless i just want to make this one real quick just to show you guys the ps5 slim leak it is coming very soon i think definitely is coming out this year but leaks and rumors is pointing towards next month but we gotta wait and see so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed i appreciate it with a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment down below what you guys think until next time i'll see you guys real soon